keep it to myself. But someone took a photo of me at an open mic, and I was honored. I wanted to share. Uh, so being a comedian, I wanted to give it a funny tag. And so I said, here I am lecturing about the dangers of cutting your bangs while drunk. <laughs> and I kind of thought my friends would be in on the joke. <laughs> but about, oh, five minutes later, I had 30 responses of people saying, ooh, hang in there. <laughs> and you still look cute. <laughs> so it was very supportive, but it basically revealed that my friends are like, well, of course she was drunk. <laughs> and yeah, those bangs are ugly. <laughs> I'm like, they're not wrong, but in this instance, it is my hairdresser that deserves the intervention this time. <laughs> and uh, not long after that, I was at a sports bar rooting for my favorite team, beer. <laughs> and uh, I overheard some guys talking, and one of them was like, so are you still seeing that chick? That's a good guy voice, huh? And uh, the other guy was like, yeah. But to be honest, she's not as cute as she used to be. But I fucked her anyway, because I deserve it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, damn. And then I realized, wait a minute, that describes oh God, me. Huge, huge. And think of all the dick that I could be getting by default, because I deserve it. <laughs> so I start mulling over my options. And I come to the conclusion that there are really only two things wrong with this plan. One is that I'm married. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I love my husband more than life. Divorcing him would be like cutting off my right arm. I'm left-handed, so <laughs> I would get by. <laughs> but, but it would hurt. <laughs> but the real issue here, the reason why I can't move forward, Modern expectations of intimate grooming. For instance, pubic hair. I have it. I'm not getting rid of it. Definitely not via getting it ripped off by hot wax. I am not religious, but I cleave to one thing, and that is that the pubic hair is like a little fur coat. It's like a little free fur coat from God. <laughs> And who rips off a free fur coat from God? That is insane. And along those same lines, I understand now there's no more asshole hair. Like, you guys, the asshole is like a recessed little cave. It is okay for it to have some moss. And finally, oh, needless to say, anal bleaching. We're not meeting. I'm not doing it. In short, I'm staying married. I'm visiting from Portland. I'm Jenna Zine. Come see me. Right? So wonderful. I like her so much. Uh, definitely not her first time doing comedy. Uh, uh, this next guy 